Now, the new application of lasers in gynaecology is really a world breakthrough in that it has four main treatment indications and these are for gynaecological problems which there aren't very good alternative standardised treatments that actually work. Um, there are th these four indications involve um, initially uh, a treatment for menopausal conditions that are very problematic. They occur in a large percentage of perimenopausal and menopausal women. It's interesting to note that most women consider they are in menopause for up to a third of their life. Often menopausal changes and symptoms start in the mid 40s, late 40s and continue even to the 60s or 70s. One of these laser applications is in treatment of a condition resulting from the lack of oestrogen to the vaginal tissues, uh, a condition called vulvovaginal atrophy and commonly known as menopausal dryness. This affects women significantly, uh, initially in dryness and itchiness and often pain on having sexual intercourse due to the dryness, often called dyspareunia. Um, it also affects um, localised uh, sensations of itchiness, dryness, often bleeding conditions and it's currently treated with oestrogen therapy. Um, oestrogen therapy either in uh, local vaginal pessaries or oestrogen creams or patches or even implants or tablets is contraindicated in many people. It's got an association with uh, cancers, especially breast cancer, and contraindicated in anyone who carries the inherited gene predisposing them to breast cancer. So it is a major concern and the only current successful alternative gynaecological treatment is using oestrogen and in many people it can't be used. In everyone it requires insertion, it's messy, if we're using vaginal pessaries and needs to be done regularly three or four times a week. The laser application for treatment of this is extremely simple, it's a series of three treatments done monthly apart. Uh, the treatments only take a few minutes to do. They're absolutely painless. There's no side effects whatsoever and no contraindications for doing it. Now the second application is in relation to another problematic age change often seen in women who've had children, especially multiple children, and it's called stress incontinence. Uh, there are different forms of incontinence, which actually means leakage of urine from the bladder. So the bladder muscle control and sphincter control is, is not, it's changed if you like, and on minimal um, effort, can be coughing, jumping, sneezing, even laughing, they'll uh, uh, release some uh, fluid, some urine from their bladder and wet themselves. Most women aren't it don't even seek help with that, they simply use a pad because there are no good alternatives that work quickly and that are easy to do. And here again laser uh, medicine offers a quick, almost instantaneous improvement um, that has no side effects or risks at all. The third indication is in, and it's again related to age changes and often most frequently seen after childbirth and multiple childbirth and that is vaginal laxity or vaginal relaxation syndrome it's called medically and essentially what happens with aging and stretching of the tissues and changes of the vaginal wall structure the uh, tissues become stretched wider laxer not as firm and not as supportive circumferentially um, and this causes all sorts of problems one of the concerns is prolapse, where the actual uh, uh, cervix above the vagina tends to fall down. So the cervix is the bottom part of the uterus here, um, and seen on the side profile, it's, it's held up by ligaments. So just as the vaginal wall, which is the thickness of the vaginal wall here and here, um, can become lax, 
also the ligament support of the cervix and the uterus can become weaker so the, the cervix can actually prolapse right down, it can even prolapse right out. And again these laser applications are very good at, at um, correcting that issue if it's in its early stage. And once again, no side effects or problems in the management of this with laser. Uh, a similar result um, that has a very big social and psychological effect on women, and not only women, but inter-family relationships with their partner, is sexual satisfa satisfaction and sexual gratification. Again, as the tissues become uh, laxer, and don't have the same circumferential support and strength. Um, women find that their sexual gratification is reduced and so do their male partners. And this is a very easy thing to fix with no side effects with a new laser medicine. So our four gynaecologists uh, have developed a specialty in treating, first of all examining and manage, managing the gynaecological patient to make sure there's no other antecedent or any, any other medical or gynae problems that needs to be addressed. Um, and once um, a patient's given are all clear, these laser treatments are 100% safe, easy, always effective and simple to do. Um, at the Gynaecology Centre here, we're conducting a major um, trial where we're doing a research and development grant to prove the effectiveness of these lasers, to compare them to conventional therapy where it does exist, for instance with um, oestrogen, and uh, we're also comparing and contrasting the effectiveness of the two different lasers that are used in these gynecological applications. And here at the George Street Gynecology Centre, where the only uh, centre in Australia that actually has both the two different and quite distinct laser types and we're comparing and contrasting both of those and we're indicated comparing it to conventional oestrogen therapy.